Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In this video, you're going to see either myself or my colleague Phil taking you through a real-time assessment of a particular joint. Now, the reason we're doing this video is so you can get a really good appreciation for the order in which you can complete your test. It will make memorizing the actual assessment a lot easier and it will allow you to have more time to think about your findings when you're going through it with your patient. In these videos, you may not see as much detail about handling or positioning, but of course you can go through our individual videos, such as knee active range of movement or shoulder passive range of movement, to get as much detail as you need. All right, so let's get into it. So now we're going to run through an objective assessment of the hip joint. So if you just keep yourself absolutely still, relaxed, we're just going to have a little look at your posture. I'm just going to pop my hands on your hips. Okay, so we're going to do some movements and other things from this point forwards. Any pain or problems at all, just let me know. Sure. So first thing, we're going to keep knees straight, hands on the base of the back, and just see how far you can take yourself backwards. Okay, great. And then from there, if you can run your right hand down the right side of your body, and come back up. Same thing over to the left side, please. That's great. And then from there, if you can run your hands down the fronts of your legs as far as you feel able to go. Great stuff, and come back up. Okay, if you can pop yourself onto your back facing the ceiling. So we're just gonna make sure your knees aren't part of the picture. So if we can just get you to bend this knee up. Is that okay? Yeah. And we might as well, for thoroughness, do this one. That okay? Yeah. Okay, try and bring this knee as far up to your chest as you can go. Brilliant. Okay, from there, we're gonna just keep you there. Now, are you able to keep your own leg there for me? Okay, keep that there, and keep following your ankle bone round towards my finger. That's it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure on. Brilliant, and then if you can come out this way with your ankle bone. Great stuff, and come back down. If you can take this leg out to the side, this direction, as far as you feel able to go. Okay, and we're just gonna bring you to here. Perfect, okay. And I'm just going to lift this leg up for you and hold it there. Can you slide this heel underneath as far as you can go? We're going to pop this one down and put a bit of pressure on there. Okay. We're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Okay. So if you can bring this knee as far up towards your chest as possible, I'm going to put a bit of pressure on. Okay. Then if you can hold this position here and just follow my fingers around this way. Brilliant. And then follow my fingers around this way. Great stuff, okay, come back down. And then if you could, this motion here, this sliding motion, can you bring it out this way as far as you can go? Great stuff. And then if we bend this one up, can you slide this heel underneath as far as you can go? We're gonna pop this leg down. Just put a bit of pressure on there, okay. So this time I'm going to be doing the movements for you, so try not to join in as best you can, okay? Okay, if we lift this one up. And do the same operation on the other side. Okay, we're gonna do this one where we slide under again a bit. So, and just keep yourself relaxed. Great stuff. So we're gonna do some tests where you press against me so we can check on the muscles, see what they're up to. So if we bend this one up, okay, from here, can you bring your knee to your chest, pushing into my hand? Great stuff, hand relax. And then from here, can you press in towards my hand this way? Brilliant, and relax. And then if you can push this leg out sideways into my hand, and relax. 
And if we come back up to here, can you press against me this way? And relax and press against me this way. Perfect. We can do the same thing on the other side. So bring this knee up to here. Can you hold that position there for me? Just bring this knee up towards your chest and relax and keep it there for me. And just press in this way and relax and press this way. Perfect, and come back down. Okay, don't let me pull this leg out. Perfect. And if we're just gonna take this leg out to the side and if you can push out to the right, great stuff, and relax. So next we're gonna have a little feel in and around the hips. So a little feel on the front and the sides. And wherever your patient's pain is going to dictate where you spend most time. Okay, we can get you to go onto your front. And then if you can lift this leg up towards the ceiling with your knee straight, please. You okay there? Yeah. Okay, keep that there for me for one second. Great stuff. And then the same with the other leg, please. Brilliant, and relax down. So this time I'm gonna do the movement for you. And this can be done in sideline as well as prone. Sideline will be a lot easier, but for the convenience of the run through, we're showing you this way. Okay, we're gonna do another one of those muscle tests where you press against me, okay? So if you can lift this leg up towards the ceiling with the knee straight, hold that there for me, and don't let me move you. Brilliant, and relax down. And the same with this one. That's it, keep that knee straight, and don't let me move you. Okay, we're gonna have a little feel of the upper buttock, okay? Mm -hmm. So let me know if you get any problems. Now obviously, if your patient complains of centralized buttock problems, etc., get their consent and you can palpate there, and you can look at our other videos for that. Okay, so that concludes our run through video. From there, you just need to add in extra special tests, other core stability things, whatever comes up and whatever takes your treatment assessment direction further. And that completes our real time objective assessment. Once again, I hope that this video has given you a good understanding of the order in which you can complete your tests. If you want more information about the details of each specific test, check out our individual videos. For example, lumbar spine palpation, or ankle resistant tests. Thank you so much for joining us once again on Clinical Physio and we'll see you soon.